Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker and today is day 50 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on recognizing God's hand in my life. Yay for day 50! I'm halfway through these ones! I'm so happy. Today, I was just kind of having a, an I don't know day, a stressing out day, a getting some bad news day. I mean, work was really good. It was my second day at work and then I was bombarded with a lot more stuff. They're like, hey, you did really good the day before or something. They're like, hey, I'm gonna teach you something new. I'm gonna teach you something new. And I was like, holy crap. And by the end of the day, I still had stuff like in my queue for me to do. And the my trainer supervisor told me that I could just go home and I could finish it tomorrow. And I was like, okay, cause I could stay and do it now. I was like, oh no, just save it for tomorrow. And I was like, okay. I left. I don't really like leaving early. I haven't quite got eight hours at work yet, which is kind of frustrating. It was kind of a, a long day. It was like, I could stay, I could do more. She's like, no, 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 we're good. Then after that, I, I was checking my emails. I think I checked them at lunch or something. I don't know. But I got some news that I wasn't looking forward to and I was kind of freaking out about it. I didn't know the details. Basically, I got an email that said I needed to call somebody to um, sort some stuff out. And I was just like, ah, oh. and of course my brain automatically goes to all the negative stuff. And then I had to go to physical therapy and I was just freaking out. And then I came home. I remembered my sponsor friend used to tell me that when you get home from work, you just take your clothes off. You just change into something else. So when you take your work clothes off, you take off all of your problems, everything from work, you're done and you're home. And then you just change into whatever you're going to do. And you have that mindset that this is what I'm doing now. And I'm like, okay, I am home now and I'm going to relax. And when I was home that I decided I needed stuff to do around the house and I, I made some muffins and then I, I went to the temple. I had a fantastic night and, and the stuff that from earlier just kept coming up and I kept reminding myself that I didn't have to do it today. And I was so grateful to God for just being there and reminding me what my sponsor friend said about changing my clothes and kind of changing my clothes kind of changed my attitude and my perspective a little bit. And I'm so grateful that that works. And I was praying to God to help me to change my attitude, to help me to let go because my thing in life is I hold on to all of the stuff. I, I've often said before, and I'll probably say again, that I grew up in a family of elephant complainers and they complained about everything and remembered everything and brought up every mistake that I ever made in my life. And so I have been trained to do the same thing. And my brain does that. It replays over and over and over again in my mind, all the mistakes that I've ever made, all the horrible things that are going wrong. And it's like this doomsday cloud that just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't need this. I don't need this. And it's just raining on my parade and I can't do anything fun or see anything because it's just, it's a nightmare. And I create it myself. It's not like my life is that nightmarish. I, I create it by focusing on all the, the little things in my life that are a mess instead of focusing on all the little things in my life that are a success and that are going well. And so I'm just so grateful that I could say a prayer and ask God to help me to let go because I just really needed to let go. And not that I've completely let go of it, I have to be honest, but every time it was coming up, I could remind myself, no, this is where I'm at today. This is what I'm doing today. And this will be here tomorrow and I will take care of this tomorrow. So it's a tomorrow problem. It's not a today problem. And that was like huge for me. That is amazing for me that God answered my prayer, that he reminded me of, you know, my sponsor friend that's recently passed away. And um, every time I was doing something reminded me to stay in today. And I needed that so bad. I needed that. And I was like, okay, I can do this. And I got through my day. I got through <laughs> everything because I was really stressing about all the stuff that I had to do after work on top of work. So I was like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do all of this. So I was feeling very overwhelmed. I think I have to do everything all at once and I forget that I can separate it out. And it's just, you know, it's, it's certain time spots. So if I'm not there yet, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to deal with it. It doesn't have to affect now. And I understand that concept, but I seriously struggle with implicating that. <laughs> That's just really a hard thing for me because my brain literally wants to just compact it all into one. Like it's all happening right in the moment and I have to deal with everything right this second. And so to be able to just let go of something, to just be able to even not fully let go, but just say this is a tomorrow problem and not a today thing. And this is something I'm doing later and not right now thing. It was amazing. I don't know how that worked, 
but I am so grateful that it did today and it was it was amazing so if any of you guys have other tips or comments or something on how things like that just work out and are amazing or how you can let go of things I would love to learn from you because seriously <laughs> that is one of my biggest struggles is I just I hold on and I complain and I just don't know how to let go of things. That's all I have for today. So if you like these videos, you can hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think they'll like it too. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude and find ways to recognize God's hand in your life too.